What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. Yeah, you heard it here. They're turning the ghost into trans. They're turning the ghost trans and gay. Uh, it's not just Alex Jones anymore. So, yeah, the DEI double down of Nintendo is real. And before we get into the full article, I will say that just in the beginning of April, we had this story. Nintendo of America localization job listing requires awareness of culturalization and DE and I related topics. And of course, there's this whole job posting and this got into a broader conversation about localization, how that's where DEI slips on in their little their evil ideology of changing established things, trying to adapt it for a local audience. And here is the most gotcha told you this is exactly what we thought they would do and they did it type of thing nintendo of america appears to turn not appears they did paper mario the thousand year door character into a transgender and we talked about this briefly on a stream but then the more i looked into it the more of like a stunningly obvious example of this localization abuse is uh the localization for nintendo of america's paper mario the thousand year door remake appears to have turned vivian into a transgender character uh j uh, jonas j campbell an investigative reporter for that park place shared a screenshot from the upcoming game that features dialogue from vivian uh and you can see here's that screenshot let's go to his actual twitter nintendo of america did you make this witch into a trans character in the remake of pa uh, paper mario uh vivian was a girl in the original translation so here is a purple ghost the female form that uh, we've seen from chat GPT that yes, you can tell male and female from forms. Uh, jokingly, chat GPT could not tell that Nio, the new female protagonist from Assassin's Creed Shadow was female, but could tell that Tally from Mass Effect was. Interesting, but here we go, okay. Here's Vivian, the trans ghost saying, truth is it took me a while to realize I was their sister, not their brother. Now their usual bullying feels heavier um in the original so this is we all said okay so now you have to go to the original what was the character in the original in the original english uh <clears throat> localization for paper mario the thousand year door which was released in 2004 for gamecube so 2004 before localization had been infiltrated um by esg and all that because they hadn't really even existed yet uh however as no to uh, noted by youtuber short fat otaku during an appearance on side uh, scrollers the original japanese version of the game describes the character as an auto no no jesus christ i even fucking looked up how to say it an otunoku an otunoku jesus christ it's a femboy an otunoku uh, a femboy, basically a male who dresses up in women's clothing. Short Fat Otaku explains while reading in the original party info uh, info, and in the original game and Goombella's ta uh, tattle log, it says that Vivian is an otunaku, an effeminate male, otherwise known as a male daughter or femboy or a trap not trans that's a delusional head canon as is most of uh, most of this stuff his catch card uses the same word again not trans yeah so it's a femboy we all know what femboys are um and there we go there's the original uh cards explaining it uh a cute boy wielding yeah so it explains that this is not this is not a trans character that is a localization uh otokonoko yeah otokonoko i knew i said it right Thankfully, I'm not an expert at calling people femboys in Japanese. Not yet. Uh, they show the original catch card. One of Mario's partners introduced in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, a cute boy wielding fire magic who was once part of a group of enemies known as the Shadow Trio. So that is the definition that they changed up with localization. This is not the first change that Nintendo of America's localization team made to the remake of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. The game completely changed dialogue at the beginning of the game when Mario, uh, Mario and Goombella are confronted by a number of Goombas. Yeah, we talked about uh, this one too. In the original game, the Goombas state, hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got with you there? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fine, what's a fine looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like you? And Goombella responds, oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously, yeah. Guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. 
the Goombas reply, ouch, that was cool. What, you're too good for us? So they make that thing. And right, okay. Uh, in the remake, the dialogue is completely changed. The Goombas tell Mario that his party, hey, man, hey, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz in, uh, waltz in uh, your way into our underground? Typical. So basically, they cut out all of the hint of... Uh, <laughs> grapey uh ness from the goombellas goombella responds leave him alone can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace if this is your usual greetings to visitors then you must have learned it down here because it stinks uh yeah again just showing like we show the beginning that this all comes from those dei listings that they had at nintendo of america and so this is just the beginning i think you can from now on just expect to see this type of localization in any Nintendo product made for America now. The fix is in. Let me know what you think of this. If you played the original or the 2004 version, let me know what you think about this one if you're going to be playing this. Uh, make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, bye.